I like that my saves, like my my <laughs> my health in each save is getting worse and worse. Like I'm going from a yellow screen to an orange to deep dark orange. All right, and we're back with the Signalis. And after the disastrous episode of last week, and I don't know if I can be better this week, um, we fortunately have quite a few things to do. So we've unlocked a lot and can do a lot, therefore. Okay, so first we'll go into the first dark room that we have here. Also, we have not found any keys for the mailbox. There we go, and now we'll clip the flashlight and um, there you go. Oh, there. Ah, no. Okay. Ooh, that was scary. I thought I had a little bit more space to actually... Uh, look around first, but no, she was not having it. Ah. Oh, damn. Oh! Oh my god, no. Um... Oh, okay, I get it. So that's who was here, and I guess the tank... Ugh. I don't want to meet a tank. Is that? No sp... Oh, adhesive tape. Nope. That's not what I want to look at. Weapon case? What? Huh. I should have cleaned out my in in inventory. I completely forgot. Okay. Fast, 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 fast. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> ah! Yeah, the worst thing is now I have to clean up my inventory back again and then go back so I don't have to continuously go back because I want to get all the stuff ideally in one go so I have it when I need it for puzzling, you know. Okay, let's look at it. Um, a transparent polypropylene based pressure sensitive tape that can be used for joining, sealing, attaching and mending. A secure storage box for pistol sized firearms locked with a small padlock. That's why, by the way, that's why the episodes that you see are so short. I pretty much always play around an hour and then I edit it down because there's so much back and forth, you know, uh, backtracking because of the inventory stuff and I don't like keeping it in rooms because then I will forget that it's there. And then I have to go through all the rooms because in um, in the map, you know, they have like stuff like fuse box, etc. But they don't have items. Um, and so that is so annoying that I don't want to forget it. And so I'd rather do the tour 
while I'm playing it directly when I found that room. Oh, also save just in case I get wrecked now. And that's why it usually, you know, edits down to not a lot of time. And honestly, my hope is because the game's average playtime is around 9 to 10 hours. And we're now, I think I've played about 6 hours. Um, I hope that this back and forth is part of the average playtime. And it's not like, oh, everyone else did it in 9 hours without dying, without repeating anything, without backtracking. They just played it really well in contrast to you, Hula. So I've been playing for 12 minutes now, and you've probably have seen 4 minutes of actual interesting gameplay. And that's how it will be from now on. Oh my god, why is everyone hyper-aggressive? Oh, Jesus. Uh... Okay, I need to go to the piano hallway. Although, I want to go to the protector office. Hmm... No. Oh my god. Shit. Alright, we're in the protector's office, and I hope it was worth it. Vega Dimensionheit. Uh, Vega is the like cradle of humanity. Vignetta. Oh, it's a key! Yes, please. Colibri in the management office. One of the Colibris has holed herself up in the management office on the seventh floor. I've seen her and her illusions sitting inside the room crying. Which one is the real one? Oops, sorry. Uh, I think it's because of the painting in there. Whenever I closed to her, I felt like my mind was being assaulted by the image of that island. The sensation was strong enough to make me hurl. Is there a way to neutralize the transmission? Maybe some sort of feedback loop of the frequency of her control signal? Yeah, I tried that and I died. Uh, so that did not work. So thanks for nothing, really. What's that? Oh, it's another key. Oh. <laughs> Well, it's a shame that I can't go to the flood overflow from this room. Okay. Is there another door? Ah, no! A small padlock key? Ah, a small old metal key. A familiar looking island is engraved on the head. Okay. So, with that we can do the weapons thingy. Um, maybe we can have like two weapons with it. There you go. Oh! We have the revolver! A short barrel double action shot that fires. Okay. Well, I don't think I need it now, to be quite honest. But maybe I'm completely wrong with that. No, what's... Okay. Uh, shit, no. <laughs> what 
Why can't I... I can't... Uh, module. Adjust frequency. Yeah, I did. Oh. Okay. Shit. No. 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 This is not fun. Actually, I'm not. Oh, what's that? I. No. <sighs> okay. Oh my god. Yeah, that's... So I got her? Yes, oh my god. I, that wasn't fun. Workshop key, okay. I guess. Is that it? Anything else here? Nothing, no health packet. I mean, why not? <laughs> Look how hurt I am. Yeah, yeah, I need, I get one. Okay. Where's the workshop, by the way? <laughs> so, the frequency thing was not the owl, because I thought uh, the big... Was it the Storch? Had like the owl figure in their hands, and I thought... That might have something to do with the frequency thingy, but I guess no. I guess no. Okay. Oh, I killed them all because I could not be bothered with it. Oh, God, look at this Im incredibly nice room. Although, I would appreciate a health pack. No? Okay, well, it's just, you know. I mean, why would you give me a health pack? It's just, <laughs> who doesn't need it, right? Everyone's so good at this, including me. Okay, star. Replica known issues part two. Wait, where's part one? <laughs> Come on, eyes only. A previous experience with these replica models have given us insight, also oh, star and stork, into irregularities in their behavior that stem from the original neuron patterns used for these new units. So they had different patterns than the other units. Due to the sensitive nature of this information, the document should be destroyed after reading. Guess someone didn't do their work. Star. Despite their normal laid-back demeanor, stars have a strong internal hierarchy which is important to take into consideration when promoting units to officers. Not promoting a respected unit or promoting a unit low in status can lead to friction within dorms. Stars will occasionally develop in-group rules involving physical punishments. So they actually, they, not that I know a lot of bir about birds, but maybe that's based on how those birds act. So they punish each other if the hierarchy is not proper. It is recommended to allow some officers to own military weapons as fetish objects to stabilize their persona. Hell, Stork, uh, units initially have a short temper. Well, that's not, that doesn't sound like Storks. <laughs> Training them in patience early after deployment is key, as their neural pattern is less stable than other models. Failing to do so may yield an extremely volatile personality prone to cruelty and violence. A common strategy is pairing them closely with an older star unit. Stork's persona stabilizes by showering or bathing. Books on history or mythology work well as fetish objects. Oh no, will this be a boss fight and then there's like, we have to do some water stuff? 
An audio tape deck unit wired up to the broadcasting unit. If I had an audio cassette, I could probably have its content broadcast on the radio. So that's maybe for the owl. Owl. Not for the, yeah, for the owl statue. Okay. Anything else? A small radio? Oh no. Wait. Uh, it's set up to broadcast the tape deck's input signal on frequency 142. Oh, and then I send next her. I put that. 142. Up, up, up. Okay, so we need. We can do that. Really, no health item. Are you sure? Are you sure, everyone? Shh. Ah! Oh. That was annoying. That was annoying. I think I need to stun prod. Uh, equip. The one in the, with the elevator thingy. So I'm not quite sure. Although I found a level where it wasn't. No, I think I need the shutter. Oh, also I can't do this right now. I actually can't do this right now. Shit. Uh, does the door. Yes, okay, so let's hurl it. No, why, why, why is that so, like, what's the, ugh. why can't they do this in a six mile radius? Why can't they hurt me in a six, like, ugh, God. Like, this is all over first level before, again. And I don't have any any health items. I mean, I have, but I don't want to use them. We'll risk it by not having the tape with us. I'll be very angry if we need it. Okay, so now we're again super hurt. Like I'm, I'm living a, a dangerous life here. Look at this. I do like that I can get hurt a lot before I actually croak. It's not like two or three times and then that's it. So that's kind of nice that, and that she uh, auto generates a little bit. Okay. No, no, you know what? That's just stupid. I will. I will continue. I will restart. That's. I don't allow it. No. I got. I got frazzled. I got cornered. And these assholes. They have such a wide range, right? Because when they hurl, they can really hit you from super far away. Also, I really hate that they can stun lock you. Just something about survival horror and enemies being able to stun lock you, that doesn't sit right with me. Also, I gotta say, uh, the island puzzle, first puzzle, I really do not appreciate. I just, uh, I'm not a fan. Okay. Look! Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Owl. Type generation for low cost general purpose. Owl units are the backbone of the Yuzen Nation's workforce. These elegant multi-purpose worker units are suited for all kinds of domestic tasks like cleaning, cooking, and simple medical and office work. That's me. Am I... I don't know. Uh, Oilers are highly social and get along well with each other as well as most other replica models. Oh, adorable. While unfit for combat, their lightweight frame makes them a prime choice for distant facilities where supplies are limited. I hate these things so much. Just disgusting. 
Okay. Why don't I get the key for the post box, by the way? But we're making way. I think we're pretty... This time around... Although last time it wasn't too bad either, to be quite honest. Yes, that's nice. But also... Oh, look. That's me. Super hurt. Um, no health item again. Are you kidding me? This is like the third or fourth room that has a lot of cool stuff, but no health items. Okay, so that's the cassette. The portable audio tape player with a knife embedded in the speaker. Well, how about an elf health item em embedded in the speaker? <laughs> Alright, um... Okay, good. Oh no. <laughs> I need to fix the tape? Didn't read it. I didn't read it. Oh yeah, okay. Combine. There we go. I like that my saves, like my... my <laughs> My health in each save is getting worse and worse. Like, I'm going from a yellow screen to an orange to deep dark orange. Can we now, can we finally do it? Yes. And now we have to go down, down the riches road, right, and isn't this super annoying, okay, okay. Don't need it. Don't know why I did it. There you go. Let's rather equip the stun prod. Ah, God, I forgot. I forgot. Okay, and now, um, frequency, um, 142. Ha ha ha! I did it! One of the very few things that worked in my favor. Hummingbird key. Please don't wake up. Where is that? Spawn lake? Oh yeah. Birds. <laughs> okay, so we got the library hallway. In the east hallway, in the Adler bedroom, in the mine shaft access. What do we need the hummingbird key for? A magnetic key card with the hummingbird motor for the east suite on the eighth floor. We are coincidentally on the eighth floor. East hallway, okay. This is always the room where I feel like, oh, it's a nice room, and then someone comes out, and I'm like, wait, it was a, it was a lie. It was not a nice room. Okay. And now I need. Okay.
damn it! You know, immediately. That's just so uncalled for. Uh, maybe there's loot in there, though. But I did a lot now. It shouldn't be an immediate boss fight or anything, because so far the game has... Well, we had one boss fight, but the game was like... It had a room before the boss fight. Again, I, I don't see any health items. I'm not a fan. Replica known issues part one. Here we go. Commodities only. Previous experience with these replica models has given us insight into irregularities in the behavior that stem from the original Nino patterns used for these units. Euler and Aura. So any, every, all of them. All of them. Amazing. Due to the sensitive nature of this information, this document should be destroyed after reading. Oilers tend to form large groups and like to sing and dance. <laughs> <laughs> As the original neural pattern for this unit was a ballet, da ballet dancer. Ah, oh, persona degradation can be easily prevented in this unit by making sure they have access to music through tape players or musical instruments. Man, that's a very... Ha you know, that's a very... But then... We get this info after we solve the puzzle. That's weird. Anyways, always place at least one mi mirror in Euler dorms. As they have a strong urge to check their own appearance at regular intervals. Euler's persona stabilizes by keeping a tidy appearance and through regular social interactions. Euler's will often organize in groups of roughly 10 units and give each other themed nicknames. Okay. Even though they may seem like quiet simpletons. Sheesh. Do not underestimate the auras. While they may not show it, they judge you, those who are rude or unkind harshly and will quietly share this judgment with their entire cater. Auras Our, get along best with Euler's who tend to be patient and friendly and have a talent for reading Aura's expressionless faces. In many facilities, Aras will construct service tunnels accessible only to them, often under floors and walls. Oh, those assholes. That's so, because they sound kind of interesting, but they're some of the worst. Well, they haven't really gotten me that much, opposed to some of the others, but still. Unstable units may retreat to, into those tunnels. It is not recommended to attempt to retrieve them. Our personas can be best stabilized by allowing them access to plants to take care of, ideally colorful flowers or trees. Okay, Colibri. Yeah, that's the weird one. A marvel of modern technology, the Colibri is the most capable bioresonance unit ever produced. Every protector for his commander's Falker unit is aided by a cater of Colibri unit just adjutants, which can amplify her bioresonance signals as well as produce their own. Despite their diminutive build, Colibris are one of the most effective protector units. They're also annoying as heck. Able to directly influence the minds of replicas and gestals, extract information non-verbally, and communicate among themselves instantly in the full bandwidth of the senses. The Colibri's bioresonance is the closest recreation of a true hive mind. Okay. Oh. Eagle key. Yep. Colibri's note. Keep an eye on Adler. He's hiding something from us. Oh, Adler. There was nothing in his diary, but when I probed his mind, there were memories of an El Elsa unit working at Sipinski. There's no record of that model of replica ever being deployed here. Is that me? Maybe. An order for a single unit for some survey work in the mine was briefly considered, but no new orders were made due to the commander's sickness. No! No. Um, <laughs> oh, maybe that's why it didn't work because I only, no, I don't know, last time, it was, it was exhaust. I don't want to work with colibris as much, they are annoying, They're, it's just really because you have to click in between and then it's all, I don't know, maybe it's different with, uh, with the controller, because I found, I played one game before, which was a lot worse with keyboard um, and then I switched the controller for the final boss fight and realized it was so much easier uh, because they kind of fully concentrated on the controller and did not really care about um, keyboard. Here I feel like it's very balanced except the Colibri fights because you have to switch a lot between like the frequency and it's just super, it's just annoying. I don't like it. It's a very personal thing probably, but I don't like it. Okay, eagle key, a magnetic key card with an eagle motive. That does give me nothing. Nothing. Okay. 
Um... Adler bedroom. Oh, eagle, eagle key. Obviously, that's for Adler's bedroom. Okay, I get it. Okay, I killed them here. That's good. I need to save at some point. Ah, wrong door. I'm a doofus. Ugh. I'm a two-face. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I actually have access to the flood overflow from here. So, oh, no, no. Oh, God. Please. Please. I don't know why why are they giving me everything except health items? Give me <sighs> no health. I cannot believe it. Alice Diary. I've been fascinated by a peculiar piece of furniture I discovered in storage. A strange box with a removable <coughs> with a removable dial in the front that was confiscated from a worker some time ago. I was instantly drawn to it, though I'm not sure why. When I put my ear on the mechanism, I can hear it faintly clicking like a clock. Without Colibri's help, it has become much harder to coordinate the logistics, Kaider. If there's anything good to say about that woman, it is how she knows how to make others respect her orders, despite her minuscule stature. I went to see her today, but her room is still locked. Okay. I had a dream tonight. Another memory of my gestalt, gestalt life, I believe. That's the dreams! That's my former me! Okay, I was wearing my uniform. There was a young woman, her hair white as snow! And I was conducting some sort of test. I had a deck of cards with astronomical symbols on them and asked her to guess the planet on the card I was holding. So they did a telepathy test with her. I was playing with that mechanical lockbox again, of which I am not sh now sure is some kind of astronomical cal calendar, when I suddenly remembered a conversation I had with another replica when I was inspecting the mining site. However, it was clearly a model I have never seen before. Some type of engineer with an orange chess piece. Is that us? I have to look. I, I don't know. In my memory, she was just another member of our staff, but no such replica was ever stationed on Sibinski. Replica memory is not the most reliable, they say, but never before have I experienced such a strange phenomenon. The little enigma of that box could only distract me from the chaos around me for so long. All the box contained was a small notebook, of which all pages turned out to be blank. It has been miserable since our beloved commander has fallen ill. I long for her stern guidance, that overwhelming authority in which she bathes a room. More sick. Oh! Okay, because the, the big one is the Falke. Yeah. And because the Falke is connected to the Colibris, when she fell ill, the Colibris didn't work anymore. Ah, okay. Oh, and because her sickness also turned the Colibris sick. Ah, more sick, making my work ever harder. How are we meant to shoulder this workload with no reinforcements? Also, it kind of sounds nice before everything. My only consolation is that as our protector staff decreases, so does the workforce we oversee. While more and more replica end up in the hospital wing, Gestalt workers seem to succumb much too fast for any attempts at treatment, so they die. Yeah, oh yeah, we already read that. <laughs> Another diary filled for no benefit but my own satisfaction. I've not ordered a new one yet since I spent my saved ration marks on that marvelous looking fountain pen, but I guess I'll make use of that notebook. So this notebook had seven pages. Oof. There's a hole in the front of the box. It looks like something is missing from the mechanism. Of course there is. Of course there is. A versatile combat engineer. Uh, yeah, we are in Alster, not in Holland. Primarily designed for orbital service. These tough and stoic loners are best suited as specialist separatists and scouts. Their technical knowledge and combat capabilities make these units units true survivalists, especially when they're in their iconic white and blue heavy combat fig configuration, which sports bullet-resistant armor plating on their chest and forearms. Maybe not. Ugh, I don't know who I am. I don't know. Am I? Who am I? An Elster, an Euler, and what? Since the original neuron pattern for this unit was lost with the destruction of the central neuron archive on Vignetta, new Elster units have been produced based on a decommissioned unit from the Pen Rose program. But I have the orange thingy, right? So I am special. Okay. I mean, 
mean, we could just go for it because I was so hurt. I'm so hurt anyways. It doesn't really matter. I wish I had just a health item. <gasps> there we are. Oh, tentacles warned me. They get up those dick wards. No, uh, equip. What? Uh, that's what I mean. It's so. It's so annoying. It's so annoying. No. Okay, so that's the real one. I cannot believe it. There's they just refuse to give me health items. Okay. Like honestly, I've been in so many new rooms now, um, and that's, I would say that's an actual criticism, because with survival games, usually they're designed in a way that you can either shoot your way through or kind of hassle through, and that there should be a balance between health items and ammunition, and I feel like this game is plastering me with ammunition and is not giving me any health, I, like for six or eight rooms now, I have not gotten any, well, I got a few health items, but now it's been quite a while since the last ones. It feels so unfair. Sorry, little rant, because also I'm not a good player, so that is, you know. You go away. No, I'm not bothering with you. Oh, there you go. I wish they would hurt each other if they, you know, hit each other. That's also unfair. They always hit me. They always, you know, and they themselves, when they bash into each other, nothing. That's just... <sighs> okay. Let's just save one of my precarious saves. <laughs> I just want one health. I know it's where it is, but I can't get it without getting hit. So it's like, I don't even have to get it because it, it doesn't matter. But that's a health item where I'm not sure I will get anything out of it. Because if, if I get hit so much, then I don't know, you know? Why even bother? Give me a health... I guess. Okay, library. So library was uh, way back down, right? Ah, shit. There you go. Bücherei. Well, you would call it not Bücherei. You would actually call it a Bibliothek. A Bücherei is more... I think it depends, but you would call a Bücherei more something where you can buy books and a library, a Bibliothek, is where you can lend books. Yes! Oh my god, yes! Look, nothing changed. <laughs> Hi! Colibri. Who are you? You're not one of our staff. Yeah, no shit. The others, they've changed. We no longer sing in unison. Oh, that mu yeah, that must be really sad. Well... I used to be able to see into their minds. We were as one. Together, we guided them all. But now I can't understand their thoughts anymore. I've never been so alone before. They're still together and I'm here, outside, and they won't let me in. So not everyone is affected. That's also interesting. I can't understand their song anymore. Yeah, it's a horrible song. Got a, you know, one of the shittiest club music songs ever. This is the only place where I don't have to hear them. It's the only place I'm safe. I can't go on like this. I wish I'd become like the others too. At least then I wouldn't be alone. Oh, that is super sad. I hate this. That's it. Okay. Very sad. Okay. More... It, number four though. So we have still one to go. 
Well, maybe more. Colibri. Great care should be given to colibris. Their neural patterns are very unstable and their bioresonance module makes them very susceptible to influence from others. Like most bioresonant individuals, colibris will often subconsciously create an emotional feedback loop, imitating and then broadcasting the emotions of those around them, acting as a sort of amplifier. Yeah. Well, they are trained to recognize, so that's why they're all, you know, nuts, because everyone else is going crazy. While they are trained to recognize and disengage this behavior, already unstable units can sometimes spiral into persona degradation. Due to their bioresonant connection, neural pattern development in colibris varies less than in other models. The constant exchange of memories and emotions between units of a cater acts as a safety net that buffers extreme changes. Oh, so they mellow each other out. However, once a majority of units in a cater degrade, yeah, they will drag remaining units down with them. Because of this, it is important to decommission Colibri units instantly when they begin to degrade. For persona stabilization, Colibri should have access to a well-stocked library. Oh. <laughs> okay. So they need books? But also, couldn't you create new groups and put the uh, degrading units into a new, more balanced group? Okay. They're in number, number three. Ooh, Adler and Mina. Ooh. Um, the Mina, this new pattern is extremely stable. Little has to be done to keep Minas happy. They get along well with most other models thanks to their sometimes submissive, sometimes motherly personality. Unlike other models, diary keeping is not mandatory for persona civilization. Oh, so Adler probably needs diaries. Small, that even it, it sounds a little shady. Unlike other super sensitive and fractured units. <laughs> Small stuffed animals may be given as fetched objects. Through those resembling cats should be avoided as so they might cause resurfacing. Gestalt Maurice. Oh, so the original Gestalt was a cat lady. <laughs> I love this concept. I love it that they have personalities all based on the originals. So they're all kind of like, not really clones because they also have those parts, you know. But yeah, there was once a person, an actual person behind it. So they're not just random clones. They kept the personality of their originals, which is so, so interesting. Other units work best when left alone. <laughs> they do not mix well with their own type. Oh, yeah, be, that's certain <laughs> alphas, you know, they don't like other alphas. I know there's there's a lot of, you know, sometimes you have people who are like, um, who have those very extroverted, need to be, uh, you know, center of attention, but who also get along very well with others of their ilk. And then there's those where as soon as they meet someone of the, you know, similar perceived power statue they uh, it gets very competitive they will usually become very emotionally dependent on their commander adlers are very susceptible to bioresonant suggestion making them fairly easy to control Oof. however they become bored very easily and may need a new fetch object at regular intervals for stabilization interesting what's that alignment error use manual controls Which one do we want? Oh, I want the one with the red, I guess. Okay, and these are obstacles. Okay, I think I got it. There we go. Yes. Ooh, pick up Astrolab. Or Astrolab. I hate that. Okay, that's it with her. Um, hmm. A strange clockwork-like dial mechanism with astronomical symbols on the front. Oh, I know where this is for. But I've played an hour now and I think I don't... I have to edit some things out, but I think mainly I don't. So I will actually... Nope, this is not where I want to be. <laughs> no. no. Just absolutely annoying. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, this is something we can do next time. Because... Yeah, we have to go to the star map. <sighs> and then get the right uh, constellation, and I don't want to do that now. I'm actually, I literally don't want to do that now. Okay, return to menu. There you go. Okay, 
we made a lot of headway and we got some more we actually got lore oh that is so nice isn't it so we know that every single replica of their type of their bird type is based on one single person gestalt and that's why they have specific personality so they pick the gestalts probably to fit the intended purpose of their replicas um, to be, for example, a light dancer, to be more simple for maintenance tasks and stuff like that. And then that, that personality also impacts how they keep their mental stability, you know, um, and how, what you can do to keep them basically to maintain, to, to keep the maintenance with them, you know, uh, when they're unstable. That with the colibris that actually upset me a lot because okay it's numbers i'm sorry i heard the background sound i was like what does it say anyway it's numbers um that they once a group is basically uh impacted too much and cannot balance itself out they will decommission them instead of trying to do literally anything else to kind of balance them and, and help them so that's really upsetting because that means that replicas still are not treated like fully like people like a person but rather really just like not really like toys because they have a lot of very important things to do and they do function in a way in a, in a normal you know ecosystem but yeah they're very much resources and nothing else uh which i mean it's not like humans are all treated like human beings you know there's uh, unfortunately, a lot of humans are being treated like resources, so, you know, it's it's realistic, but still, it's upsetting. Um, but yeah, that was really interesting. Also very sad, the single colibri who wished that she had become part of the crazy crowd. And also very interesting that we occasionally do meet exceptions who are not affected by whatever happens. Uh, which is, it feels like a virus in that way, you know, that it just, it doesn't affect certain people because they're immune. So that's interesting and it all it comes down a lot to resonances and it's kind of like a domino thing right because we've read a lot that um some replicas are so closely related to others or need the others to balance them out you know so that if one falls basically it it creates this huge domino effect that everyone else is kind of impacted time over time which I think could be, I'm not sure if that was intended, but maybe, um, a metaphor for how a, a certain a society can work, you know, and especially in this case, I think the Faka unit got sick and that's how everything started. So the Faka unit went down, saw something weird, got affected, and then everybody else got affected. And I think that's like, it could be. Uh, you know, when leadership of a country, for example, is corrupted, and I mean that in two senses, <laughs> with all the ambiguity I can carry around, um, then it drips down to every single aspect of society, you know, up to people who don't really even care about politics, it still ends up affecting them, and it will also hurt everyone. Uh, so it's not like if, if, you know, the leadership is corrupted anywhere, in a company, in, a, in any group, you know, in any society. If leadership is corrupted because those are the most powerful, it will corrupt any and everyone else. And there will only be very few exceptions and they'll suffer the most because there's nothing they can do. It's not like they can turn it around. Except our unit, obviously, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not that, um, I'm not that nihilistic that I think you can't do anything, you know, to change things. Uh, but yeah, it's very interesting and I now get it with the birds and everything that it's like, you know, the, I don't know, because again, I don't know that much about birds. I know a lot about birds, but not in that detail for those specific bird types as described here. Um, but maybe the names don't even relate directly to the bird behavior maybe we can go with that 
but I, I like the idea, you know, basically to describe this ecosystem. And as with every ecosystem, it's the same. It's a different, again, a different metaphor. Again, you know, so many metaphors to be to be read, to be had in this game. That if, um, like, an ecosystem is such a incredibly strong, but likewise also delicate part, because if if one element of the ecosystem changes or dies out, then it affects the whole ecosystem, and it eventually can balance itself out. But a lot of, you know, elements of the ecosystem will be harmed on the way, which is like. You know, the insects, the dying of the insects impacts how many birds there are, because if there's not many insects, then the birds don't have anything to eat. And then there's fewer birds. And if there's fewer birds, then there's fewer predator animals. And if there's fewer predator animals, then uh, a lot of non-predatory bigger animals, you know, are like, there will be too many and they will eat too much uh, greenery, basically. And then if there's not enough greenery blah 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 and it's so you kind of it's, it's really like it's it's the whole system breaks you know and it's the same here it's very interesting and i like that i finally got some more information on the lore and the world because that was a part that was borderline frustrating <laughs> that i read so many documents and they all were just there to solve puzzles and to not give me anything about what's going on there and this was a huge episode on that account like to understand how you know, this is built up and how it works. And I mean, it was implied before that, you know, that you had different hierarchies and different roles for the different, I mean, it was well, not just implied, but we read documents about it. But I think in this episode, we found finally documents that really painted the whole picture in a beautiful way. So I'm looking forward to the next episode, although I'm a little bit scared. Also, I I do have two health items, but I, I want to hold on to them for dear life because those are the ones you can use in a fight uh so yeah that's i gotta say i think and that's something i'm not quite sure so i'm recently watching a let's play of resident evil and saw that when you go into the menu then real time stops so if you're in the middle of a fight and then you go to a menu to switch out the weapon for example or to take a health item it doesn't affect real time so they they can swarm you and hit you and i'm not sure that signalis has the same thing and that and i i have to test it out because maybe you can do a lot of stuff while i have to do that at the beginning of next episode i will try this out because if you can do a lot in the menu and it basically pauses so you can act and react and also change weapons then i think also boss fights would be a little bit more easy to do but if not first of all then how dare you if you want to emulate resident evil and then you make it more difficult how dare you like i do not like when you go to the menu and then the game continues it's it's this is not elden ring okay for this to be elden ring like if you're elden ring you can do that because elden ring is very fluid you know the gameplay is very elegant and it's fluid here it's not you know also in elden ring i can I can pretty much kill everything if I want to. Here I can't. <laughs> um, but yeah, it would make everything so much more difficult because I, I figured in boss fights, it's actually one of the things that I hated a lot is that I can't switch between weapons easily. That I can say, look, I have both the pistol and the shotgun equipped, you know, and then I can switch between with just one button. No, I have to go to the menu and switch. And then while you're frazzled, and I'm a frazzled person, a frazzled fighter. It's incredibly annoying, especially when everything keeps going on, you know, when, when the enemies will swarm you and then you can get stun locked and everything. I don't think it's a big deal because if we get a safe room before every single boss fight, then yeah, you know, and if the boss fights don't take longer than the first one, then that's also fine because then it's not like you spend 20 minutes working on it. But still, it's... I get that in a survival game, uh, fighting has to be awkward. I'm not the biggest fan of it, uh, I have to say, but I, I get that you do this. Um, I'm also recently playing Silent Hill 2, the remake. I never played the original and the fighting is so clunky and I know this is by design. In that case, it's by design. I know in Signalis it also, it's by design because it is, it's really the truest basics of survival horror. 
but it's also it's so annoying it is so like i'm coming from elden ring where everything is so fun you know and just fast and fluid and cool and dynamic you know and here it's just ugh. and also resident evil is this mixture between survival but also action horror so uh resident evil is not the classic survival horror or rather it is a cla it is the classic next to silent hill the classic uh, survival horror but since it added the action elements especially to later games you know um now you can switch weapons easily you know you can just <laughs> replace them while you're fighting you can throw a hand grenade without going to the menu and everything and so uh it, it works differently but yeah silent hill and signal is by design clunky as heck but it also a lot of things make it so much diff so much more difficult and i feel like i i know i should use my weapons more i'm usually i'm i'm one of those bullet hoarders for boss fights because i hate boss fights so much so i want to for example keep all my revolver ammo because be i mean we found the revolver now but before that i only had the shotgun so i was like until i get the revolver i want to keep all the shotgun ammo for boss fights now i guess i can get out the shotgun you know and waltz through and maybe also uh yeah that's also the thing so i have those extinguishers those fire thingies where i can burn bodies with and now that they come back to life you know maybe i'll have to do that and use that more often but i feel like i'm so far ahead in this chapter that i don't want to waste it in rooms where i feel like maybe i will not use them that much anymore so and that's the thing with limited supplies in these kind of survival games you it's, it, you have have to be kind of strategic in do i really want to use it in a room um where i might not be anymore you know that i don't have to use that often uh and i don't yeah it's it always it nearly forces you to replay certain things because you don't know until you know so that's my thoughts for the gameplay but other than that i'm really happy with this game even though i would like more health items I really, I really would. I would appreciate it. Give me a room full of health items. Anyways, uh, I hope you liked it too. If uh, you have anything to add or to, yeah, if you know about birds, these specific birds, and can tell me if they are actually as described, if that's close to the bird type, uh, then please tell me in the comments. And again, without, you know, if you, you can give me gaming tips, gameplay tips, but please no spoilers. It's just a simple rule. Other than that, I hope you had a good time and I hope you have an amazing day. So, see you next time. Bye! This is my self recorded outro song so I don't get hit with copyright claims. If you subscribe, you subscribe to a lot of fun tutorials, reviews, and let's plays.